Hi, my name is Crystal Fletcher. Welcome to All About Canadian Books. My mission is to get to know the author behind the book. So to accomplish this, I ask a series of 10 quick questions, more or less. Today, my guest is author Maureen Brownlee. Maureen is a former journalist who's also worked as an outfitter cook, trail guide, bookkeeper, and employment counselor. Her latest book, there we go, Cambium Blue, and it was published by Harbor Publishing. So are you ready, Maureen? Welcome to All About Canadian Books. Are you ready for your questions? I'm ready, Crystal. Thank you so much for having me. I'm thrilled to have you, Maureen, and I'm thrilled to get to know you a little better. Okay. Where were you a trail guide? I was a trail guide as a teenager at uh, the Mount Robson Guest Ranch. So in the Rockies, uh, we did we did we did our rides around the ranch. We did day trips and we did uh, pack trips into the mountains. Uh, that was the Outfitters Cook part of it. OK, so that will lead into my second question. I'm very intrigued by this outfitter cook. What would be your specialty when you were cooking outdoors? Well, the 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 Mount Robson Ranch had been doing pack trips into the mountains for uh, almost 100 years by the time I was there. So theirs was a very refined system. Uh, uh, there was a, there was a full camp stove that had actually an oven. So you 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 cook not all that much differently than you would have in the kitchen at the ranch, except that you had to make do with whatever you had with you. So that again, a system refined over the years. Everything you needed was in a pack box that went on a pack course, and you had you had you had a menu, and you knew what you were doing every single day. Oh, fabulous! Um, it sounds like you've done a lot of hiking. Then, what's your favorite hike? Oh, well, there's so many to choose from. Mm -hmm. I, I, I do love the, the, the Mount Robson area. So the, the Kinney Lake Trail is a beautiful day trip from Mount Robson to a small lake at the base of the mountain. And then for overnight hikes, the Berg Lake Trail can't be matched. Okay. Now, as a former journalist, and also, I mean, you were a publisher. So, I mean, news has been a big part of your life. What would you say would be the most, which story had the biggest impact on you? Oh, that's a good question. Which story had the biggest impact on me? Mm -hmm. There were so many. And the thing about a community newspaper is the stories are quite varied. So you have accomplishments of, of children in the community. You have uh, life stories of seniors who are passing, uh, life stories of people who are leaving the community. You have businesses that come and go. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of stories, tragedies that stick in my mind, um, celebrations. And it's not all fun and games because there's always the chance that someone will take exception to the truth when you're publishing it. Uh, <laughs> as we know very much so in the events of the of the past few months. So yeah. it would be hard for me to choose just one story. Mm -hmm. And what about the Rocky Mountains? What do the Rocky Mountains mean to you? Home, the Rocky Mountains are my home. That's the biggest, most true word I can use to describe the, what the mountains mean to me. Oh, I, I, I just can't imagine, so majestic. Indeed, they are. And, and, a re well, and oh, sorry, that's okay. And, and a reminder of you know the long sweep of time and what yeah. What, what yeah. Oh, now Maureen, where would be your favorite place to write? Oh well, my studio is probably yeah. my favorite place to write. I. I I usually write in my studio, yes. So my studio is my place to write. I don't, I write 
I write everywhere, mm -hmm. but if I'm in, if I'm head down working, then I'm in my studio. Okay. Uh, you're also a photographer. You you have so many talents. Um, as a photographer, I'm just picturing: is your room filled with your with your pictures, or your home? Sorry, excuse me. Uh, no, it, it, my 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 room is filled with art, but it's usually other people's art. I have a few of my own pictures, but it's usually other people's art. I have some friends who are. Um, painters and uh, I have some beautiful beautiful paintings in in my house in my home from other artists yeah um what about your favorite for favorite just um since you've captured so many um news stories as well do you have a, a picture that you've captured that just really kind of resonates with you no yeah Again, so many, so many photographs, mm -hmm. and no, the most moving photograph I've seen recently mm -hmm. was a photograph from the floods in Abbotsford, oh. and it was a farmer on a, oh, my COVID brain, words come and go, you know, the little snowmobile on water, what are they called, sea -Doo on a sea dew yeah. with, a, with a rope attached to a dairy cow that he was bringing through the deep, deep, deep water to safety. And it was, it, 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 the, the photographer captured everything about that flood and what it meant to those people. It was, it was an amazing photograph. You're gonna make me cry just thinking. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> It was that kind of a photograph. I actually am tearing up a little myself. So yes, it was that kind of a photograph. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm like, okay. Okay, moving <laughs> okay. on. Okay, <laughs> what inspires you, Maureen? <laughs> what inspires me? Mm -hmm. uh, great writing, other writers inspire me. Yeah. The mountains inspire me. Yeah. Uh, ch children inspire me. Inspiration is a it, yeah, it comes all, oh, yeah, every day there's a little something. It's a wonderful thing, isn't it? It really is. <laughs> uh, what's the best thing about living on a farm? Free, it, uh, I was just going to say freedom. That's what came out of my mouth. And, and yet yeah. at the same time, that's not true at all because you are, of course, uh, uh, obligated to all kinds of four-legged creatures that you that that you are responsible for so it, it, and yet there's a tremendous freedom in it so those two things there's also there's also uh there's a life and death necessity to farming mm -hmm. that almost nothing else that i do has so i am i'm required sometimes to set everything aside and attend to something that's really urgent and, and there's a clarity to that that yeah. that I love yeah yeah most of the time when it turns out well when it goes badly I don't always love it but yes yeah yeah okay so thank you Maureen Brownlee up next we will be talking about your book Cambian Blue. So thank you very much for answering my 10 questions. Thanks again. And thank you everyone for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and please feel free to watch uh, all of my other author interviews. Thank you for watching. <laughs>